Mazda have made precisely two interesting cars in recent years. The MX-5, which is a sports car for girls and blokes who like ABBA, and the RX-7, which was good, but a bit daft. So news of a new Mazda sports saloon, ooh, is hardly going to excite anyone outside of the Frimbly Green Bowls Club, is it? <laughs> People don't buy Mazdas because they desperately want a Mazda. They buy them because, well, unfortunately for them at that particular time, it suits their needs. In that sense, Mazdas are like sink plungers. You don't really want one, but sometimes you just got to have one. Mazdas are good cars for shy exhibitionists. You could drive one butt naked through any major town in the world and not an eye would be batted. They're practically invisible. The Mazda 6 needed an image, so it got one and it looks fantastic. Mazda confessed quite openly to leaning over the shoulders and cribbing from BMW and Volkswagen, but they haven't been stupid enough just to turn out a straight copy. Oh no. The interior doesn't look like a Japanese copy of a German design. This is a Japanese design. They've used their own ideas, and the changes are much more than merely cosmetic. They haven't messed around for this car. They haven't just tweaked the old 626 and launched it as an all-new motor. This is entirely new. So there's a whole new range of engines. This is a 2.3-litre four-cylinder job. The figures really aren't that good. On paper, it's about 166 brake horsepower if you're interested, 0 to 60 is claimed in nine seconds. Ho oh, hum. But that doesn't tell the whole story. The point is, it's tuned so that it's a constant power delivery. It's mid-range. It's always there. It feels like a bigger, lazier engine than it really is. And then there's the handling, which... Well, where did this come from? This is a Mazda, yeah? Are we quite sure? It goes round corners really, really well. It just grips and grips. If anything, it's encouraging me to misbehave. And I particularly like that. This is incredible. It is exciting to drive, and I was really not expecting that. It's just such a shock, like discovering somebody really grey and average like John Major is a shagmeister. One blip does make itself abundantly clear pretty quickly. It's quite noisy as soon as you just head off in one direction for any length of time with any speed on. There's a lot of road rumble and wind noise. That's going to be bad news when you get to the motorways. So how much will it cost? Well, the cheapest BMW 3 Series is 18,695 quid. And for that, you'll be lucky if you get the sun visor. This is the top spec Mazda 6. It's got everything on it. And it'll cost you 17,995 quid. So, will value for money cure Milton Keynes' man of his BMW addiction? Probably not. This is still a Mazda. People will think of it as a Mazda. So no matter how good it is, let's be honest, a life of luxury and excitement in the south of France does not await the Mazda 6. I'm sorry. For you, it's going to be a life of plowing up and down the M5, the M4, service stations, cheap motels. But it makes me feel good that at least we've brought it out here for a final damn good thrashing. A final day out, a final fling before you begin your life of misery and servitude. Now I've driven this car and I couldn't believe how brilliant it was. It, it just feels so tight, doesn't it's it? It's sharp and it's a Mazda. I know. And £700 cheaper than a BMW. Another £700 saved tonight. With more power and more kit. Quite an achievement. Right, more science. 